two. In maths today we're going to be comparing money again. Now yesterday you were comparing amounts of coins against one coin and today you're going to be comparing two groups of coins together. So you need to think back to the skills that we have looked at in maths. So you're going to be adding totals together and putting in the correct more than or less than symbol. Okay, so I'm going to do some examples with you and then in your home learning packs you should have a sheet with a table on that looks quite similar to mine. It's got today's date on the top of it and then that's what you're going to complete after this video. Okay, let's run through some together. I can see in my first one then, this first side, I have got a 10p, a 1p and a 2p. So I need to add those together first before I know which amount is bigger. So 10p add 1p is 11, add 2, 11 add 2 is 13p. Oh, my face is in the way. I'm going to write it here to remind myself. 13p. Always important to remember to put the pence sign so we know what it is for. And then I have a 50p and a 20p. Now I'm going to use my fact families here. 50p and 20p is going to be the same as 5 add 2. 5 add 2 is 7, so 50p add 20p must equal 70p. 70p add 5, 75p. Now which amount is bigger, 75p or 13p? I know 75 is bigger, so my more than or less than symbol is going to face this way because it's towards the bigger amount. The next one, here we have a 20p, a 2p and a 1p. 20 add 2 is 22, add 1, 23. 23p. Let's have a look on this side, I have a 10p and a 1p, so 10 add 1 is 11, 11 add 2 is 13p. Now which amount is bigger, 13p or 23p? I know 23 is a bigger amount, so my more than sim my simple is going to face this one. Here, oh now we have a one pound coin and then some pennies. So it's one pound, 10 add five. I know 10 add five is 15, so this equals one pound and 15. P. Now let's do my pound symbol with one. Then we need to separate the pounds and pence. We do that with the little dot and then we write 15p. There we go. And on this side we have 20p add 2. 20 add 2 is 22. 22 add 1p is 23p. And we write it here. Which amount is bigger, £1.15p or just 23p? Well done, if you were saying this way, that is correct. Right, this one, we have a couple more coins here now. 20 add 5 is 25, add 1, 26, add another, 27. So here we have 27p. Right, let's have a look at this side. Oh, we have a 50p coin. 50 add 5, 55. Add 1, 56p. Which amount is bigger, 27p or 56p? Which way is my symbol going to face? Yeah, if you were saying this way, well done. And then the last one, we have a £1 coin. And then we have a 20p, add 5. 20 add 5 is 25, add 2, 27, so we have £1.27 here. I'm going to squeeze it on the bottom, again pound sign, 1, we do the little decimal to separate the pounds and pence, £1, and then can I squeeze it on here, £1.27p. And then on this side we have another 50 pence coin, 50 add 2, 52 52 add 5, 57p. And I'll write that here, which amount is more, 57p or £1.27p? If you were pointing the symbol this way, then you are correct. Well done. 
And there we have the comparing different amounts of coins. So that is what you're going to be doing today. If you can take a photo and send it to your class teacher, then that will be very good so they can see how well you got on. If you have any questions or you're not sure or getting stuck as well, don't forget you can email your teacher too. Okay, well done.